in this episode on a rivet and a prayer slow down real hover tank rocket barrage what do you think can a vehicle with just 10 hp possibly do in combat shoot at the enemy from cover cower in the farthest corner of the map boring how about attacking the enemy in melee and mow him down with auger chassis now we're talking I wish I had more dependable raiders like that one to tackle them leviathans. Dark Disciple Gaming is the brave soul that earned 1000 gold. Congrats! Well, now that the people have learned the lesson of not diving after mandrakes, it seems like there should be fewer people trying to attack from above. Dmitry Kochetov is here to show us that mandrakes or not, any decent rider can turn the tables on the would-be attacker by simply going back a few meters to get a better angle on the enemy. An easy but effective trick that should be learned by everyone. Keep up the good work, Dimitri. Please have your goal. Many science fiction universes have anti-grav tanks. Well, we might not be in the grim dark future just yet, but we can still make hover tanks. Not to mention that any vintage tank coupled with high-tech anti-grav chassis looks awesomely brutal. Great design and admirable combat results. That's how you win a crossout show. Mr. G, thank you for your submission. Please send more. Three cricket multiple rocket launcher systems is good. A salvo of this power can easily liberate the target of half its components. But what if you fire 12 crickets at once? Sounds crazy, right? Susli Gaming and his friends have made crazy into reality. Here's what they did in this video. Impressive! I think that using this platform you can bring down Leviathans with just a couple of salvos. Never mind regular machines, they burst like soap bubbles if hit with this rocket hammer. Suslik, you've made quite a show. Transferring your gold coins soon. Stand by. Now it's time to pick the best comet of the past week. SCP Lover says, A Mandrake build is very strong. Drones are great to tag along. Please respond to your original comment with your in-game nickname and email address so we can send you your prize. Please be advised that the prize may take up to 5 business days to be added to your in-game account. Thank you for watching this episode. Ok, let's recap the 3 simple steps on how to submit your video to Crossout Shell. Step 1. Record and put together a video. Attention! The submitted video must be made by you, must be published for the first time, must have public access for viewers and must not violate any copyright laws. Step 2. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button below this video. Step 3. Upload your video to YouTube and send us a direct link to crossoutshow at gaijin.ru. The covering email should contain the desired category for your video, your in-game nickname, and the email address registered with your game account so we can send you the reward should your submission win. Every week, 4 submissions will win 1000 gold. We will also be awarding the best comment of the week with 300 gold. So, get your engines revving, make some content, send it to us, or simply watch and comment. Either way, we got plenty of gold to go around. See you in the week.